Hi guys, my name is Amy Cho. I'm a golf professional and today I'm here to help you lower your scores and help you improve your golf game. Today we're going to talk about female golfers versus male golfers. Um, so basically I'm talking about like the different body type, but just to help you understand things a little bit easier, I've divided it into female and male. It's not necessarily always that case, but I just, just want to make it simple for you to understand. So the tendency for female golfers is to be super flexible, but lack in muscular strength. Whereas um, men are a lot, a lot stronger in muscular strength, but they lack flexibility, right? That's kind of like the normal, the normal pattern. Some of the common golf injuries would be in your wrist, your golfer's elbow, your shoulders, your back, hips, knees, right? With female golfers, uh, they tend to lack muscular strength in the lower body, so you, they're not engaging the crack muscles, but they're rotating like crazy to create power, and this could really hurt your knee, hips, and back joints, right? And that's where we see a lot of injuries. And also for females, because they lack in muscular strength, they try and help the power by pounding down with their arm strength, and we know that's incorrect way of cre uh, creating power and they end up pounding the arms into the ground, hurting their wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Whereas men have the same kind of injuries, but they're caused by different reasons. So let's just say uh, they, they lack mobility range compared to women because their flexibility isn't so good. So they don't get to rotate as much. Um, but because they want to create power, they, they force rotate their hips through. That's where they can get hurt in their hips and back. And also, when they're not able to rotate a lot, some people accidentally start rotating their knees. And, you know, the knees aren't really designed to rotate around, right? They just fold back and forth. <laughs> so, and plus, you know, in everyday life, a lot of us ha already have bad back and bad knees to start with. So that's why those injuries are very common in golf. And with men, because they lack in uh, mobility range of motion in the rotation part, a lot of them are strong in their arms, so a lot of them end up using arms to create power. That's very common. So if you start hitting golf balls with arm strength, uh, the first five, six, seven years may not catch up to you because you're so strong. Um, but you know, after 10, 15 years, it keeps building up and there are a lot of golfers who constantly have golfers elbows or problem with their shoulders problem that's been building up for years and years and years so they linger and they don't completely go away right and also men who power through with the arms once they start losing a little bit of muscular strength in their arms they lose distance like dramatically so we need to learn the correct sequence to swing and correct movements for the golf swing so that way you can create effortless power and really protect your body as well. In order to do that, you really need to know what your weakness and strengths are. Like for example, I'm super flexible, but I lack in muscular strength. But I keep up with both flexibility and strength. So, you know, I focus a little bit more on muscular strengthening and I still keep up with the stretching, yoga, Pilates part. Um, this is because like, for example, let's say I can do splits, right? Let's say 180 degrees. But let's just say I was, I neglected the flexibility part because I'm like, I'm super flexible. I just need to focus on strengthening. Then let's say I went from 180 to 170. That's still excellent compared to many people. But for me, I've dramatically lost my flexibility. Now that's going to affect my movements and my golf swing. And now I'm prone to injuries because of that, right? So even though I'm super flexible, I still need to keep up with that, but I probably need to focus more on my weak glutes and core, right? So that way I can power through the ball better and prevent injuries, right? So I just want you to be able to figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are and be able to, you know, tweak here and there to get your body in great shape to play golf. And also it's good for your overall well well-being anyways, right? And also, if you play a lot of golf, then you need to do more body conditioning compared to those that don't play golf as much. Golf is a very one-sided sport. This is why you need to 
uh, keep up with your body, body maintenance. And this is for sure going to help you get this swing looking beautiful, helping you to hit that golf ball long and straight, giving you that chance to lower your handicap. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, please come to Ask Amy section. I'll link that down below. Leave your questions and comments there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.